What's up, Planner Babes? It's your girl, Cam, and I'm back with another plan with me. If this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome, welcome. If you are already a part of the Piece of the Plans fam, welcome back. Now, if this is your first time stopping by, I hope that you find some inspiration here and that you will take a moment to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post new videos right here for you. This week, I'm planning in my Girl Gang Classic Size Happy Planner for the week of March 10th through the 17th, and I'm going to be using this cute little St. Patrick's Day printable that I put together um, because it is St. Patrick's Day coming up on Sunday. So I found this clip art at Coco's Art House, and I will try to link her Etsy shop down below in the description box. So I bought the clip art and I created these little boxes to go into my weekly boxes for my planner. So she has lots of different girls with lots of different skin tones. They have different hair colors and little outfits on. So I chose one for a full box. And then um, I chose the clover flowers there, some little clover socks, the little cell phone, the cute little boots, this little farmhouse display for the middle, and then uh, a scarf there. And I also have some of the other girls that are part of her um, part of her clip art and they're down in the bottom and I may or may not use them. We'll see how it goes. Then I also have this, I found this little shirt on the clothesline. Isn't that cute? So I'm going to use that to indicate the day I'm going to do laundry. And then I also found a little St. Patrick's Day element on Pinterest that I'll be using to indicate the day that is actually St. Patrick's Day. So I'm going to cut this up so we can get started. And if you want to see how all of this comes together, I'm also going to be using some other planner books to kind of fill my whole week up. And I'm going to actually do my plans for you this week because normally I just decorate and I may do that most of the time but today I'm going to show you what my actual plans are for this week so if you want to see how all of this comes together just stick around Alright planner babes, we are back and I am ready to go ahead and start setting up my washi. So the first thing I want to do is white out these green lines at the top and I am going to be using the St. Patrick's Day kit, but I'm also going to try to incorporate some pink into it because I have just been enjoying seeing pink in my planner every week. And pink is not even my favorite color, <laughs> orange is my favorite color. But I really have enjoyed seeing the little um, pastel pink in my planner every week. So this time I'm gonna this time I'm going to use the washi only, the pink washi only as my pop of pink. I think. We'll see. I may add some, I may add a few other little pink elements, but what I want to start with is the washi. And I've also got some cute, cute, cute date covers I can't wait to put down. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm just going to get rid of these lines. And set my washi down and I'll be back. Now that we have got the washi set up, my little pops of pink, I'm going to add these cute little four leaf clover, or just clover, because they're not four leaf, but clovers from, date covers, from the Happy Planner Memory Keeper sticker book. 
This is, um, I don't know the name of it other than that, it's just Happy Planner, Memory Keeper, Dates and Holidays. Okay, so we're gonna add that in. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my full boxes. Um, I got this clip art from Coco's Art House and I was just experimenting, seeing how I could create my own full boxes. And I think it turned out pretty cute. I think it turned out pretty cute, I like it. And I'm getting ready for St. Patrick's Day, like a lot of other people and I back in the day I used to not enjoy <laughs> getting pinched on St. Patrick's Day because I never wore I never wore um, green or rarely wore green on St. Patrick's Day when I was younger like high school middle school because you know I wasn't Irish. I didn't think that was part of my my culture or whatever. It used to kind of make me mad to get pinched. <laughs> so a few years ago, I did my uh, ancestry DNA from ancestry.com, and come to find out, I am a very small. My DNA. A very small percentage of my DNA matches um, people who live in Ireland. Ain't that something? <laughs> Ain't that something? So uh, ever since then, ever since I discovered that, I have embraced St. Patrick's Day a little bit more. And I've done some research on who St. Patrick was and etc. I, th I just think it's so interesting when we discover our um, our DNA, our DNA breakdown. Because of course, you know, the majority of mine was African. That did not surprise me. Um, I was interested to know which which countries in Africa my DNA matched because they're I don't know a hundred countries or some or some or so. So I was interested to know which countries my DNA would match, and I think the um, a large part of my DNA was matched up in Ghana, Nigeria, the Congo, and all of that was interesting, but not surprising to me. It was surprising to me to find that um, a good little portion of my DNA matched people from Ireland. So anyway. I have since embraced the St. Patrick's Day uh, celebration. And I don't do a whole bunch with it. I, I just kind of dress up for it at work and decorate my planner. <laughs> and decorate my planner for St. Patrick's Day week. So, now that I've got the basics done, my... Full boxes are down and I love the pops of pink I'm loving that so much okay now that I've got the the pops of pink in my full boxes that I created in now I think I want to go in with some gold um, colorful boxes from happy planner I'm trying to do a better job of kind of planning out what I'm going to do so I don't have to flip through books so much when we're here together planning so or when I'm planning for you I shouldn't be I don't want to be flipping through books a whole lot so I decided I was going to use gold because it just seemed fitting for the week so I'm going to use um, these gold boxes to indicate my where I can write down my major to-dos for the day. And 
I will go through and share some of those, some of my major to do's with y'all in just a bit after I get these boxes down. If I can get them straight. Putting these boxes on straight is not an easy task. Especially when I'm kind of sitting trying to get this camera angle right. So um, let's see here. I think I'll put a box here at the bottom just to kind of mix things up. And I think I'll put one here at the top. And then I'll put another one down here at the bottom. And I think I will use a bigger box maybe here and overlap it. I think I like how that looks. And then I'll use one more box down here in the bottom corner. Yeah, I'm feeling that, that looks good. Okay, now I'm gonna come in with some checklists. Okay, so now I'm gonna add a weekend banner. And I think I'm gonna go with this one. And again, this is from, I've used this a couple of times here on my channel. This particular sheet comes from Jump To It Designs and they, were, they are local to me here in North Carolina and they have cute, cute, cute stickers. And I got this one on sale last year when they were doing, um, changing up their papers in their shop. So I got this for a really, really good deal. So I can put this here. I can put it here. I think I like it at the bottom. I think I like it at the bottom best. So I'm going to put that there. Oh yeah, that is super cute. Then I want to add the St. Patrick's Day um, clip art that I found. And St. Patrick's Day is actually on Sunday. So I could use it there or I could put it here at the bottom. Hmm. <laughs> I could put it here, but if I put it there, I want to move that box over a bit if I put it there. Now, don't rip up box. Don't act ugly. It'd be nice. Be nice. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So we're just going to slide this over just a little bit. It's still going to overlap, but not quite so much. And then I'm going to add this in. So I'm enjoying using my Happy Planner sticker books. Oh yeah, did anybody get what they wanted from the Happy Planner sale? I was on there bright and early. Well, not too early. If you live on the West Coast, it was early for you. But for me, it was only 9 o'clock, so that wasn't too bad. But I got everything that I um, that I was trying to get. Um, but I went back a couple hours later, and a lot of stuff was sold out. So that was a trip because I'm sure some people still did not get what they were looking for, which is unfortunate. And I don't own um, a sticker business, so I don't know how it works with. Um, how much supply you order but it just seems like there's always more and I, and I understand the whole supply and demand thing that you always want there to be a demand for your product I get that but I just feel like happy planner man they just 
take it to the hilt with just putting out a few a few of their products and then everybody wants it but you can't get it readily all the time it's stressful it's a stressful little hobby planning <laughs> okay so now I've got my St. Patrick's Day indication here and I've got my cute little clover date covers um, I've got my gold boxes down so I think I want to start doing my actual plans for the week now I think I'm ready for that or do I want to set up my sidebar first um, let me let me go ahead and do my sidebar actually before we before we go too much further but this is coming together nicely and I love this little pop of pink it's really making me making me happy okay so let's go through this um, sticker book and I did see a couple of things that I wanted to a couple green. of things that were green I think I want to try this actually this is from the memory keeper book again it's just kind of flopped open so I think I want to try this is that gonna match because it's kind of tealish I think I want to go with this I'm just gonna cover up that little green box and just try to line this up and then whatever is over the edge I'll just cut it off let me see what I think about that yeah I like it I like it okay so I'm just gonna cut this little edge and pray that I don't cut my planner there we go all right that's cute okay now I'm going to add one more of these little girls on the side and I could use the same one because I think she's cute she's a cutie pie now um, let's go through actual plans so on Mondays I normally put in a couple of things I normally put in a coffee cup and I normally write hello Monday and then give myself a little encouraging quote maybe at the bottom um, so let's find a cute little cup with either pink or green on it I think I'm going to use a cup with a green bow and this comes from Scribble Prints Co this little sticker sheet and then also on Mondays I um, print the reports I work at a child care center I'm an assistant director at a child care center so I have to do a lot of reports because they're required by the state so um, on Monday I generally print the I file the reports from last week and then print the new reports for the coming week that need to be filled out so that's what happens on Monday and then on Tuesday I normally order the food for the center because we do um, children don't bring their food their lunches and stuff we provide those so I normally order all the food for the center on Tuesday it's delivered on Wednesday and on Wednesday I order supplies um, like classroom supplies cleaning supplies but also on Wednesday this week our cook is out Wednesday Thursday and Friday so I need to find something to indicate I'm going to be working in the kitchen as well so let me put the first thing down which is to order the supplies for the center I'm going to I'm going to use a green one I think a planner with the green bow I think I like this one so I'll put that down I'm going to order the supplies and then I want to find something that is cooking related and I think I saw something earlier hold on one second Okay, so I found this little um, sticker 
It actually says bake on it. I'm gonna cut that off. It's got the little, um, like a little chef hat. So I'm gonna cut that part off. But I'm gonna use this to indicate that I will be working in the kitchen on Wednesday. Okay, so this is here to indicate that I will be working in the kitchen and I couldn't find another one. So I'm just gonna use these little forks and spoons to indicate that I'll be working in the kitchen on Thursday and on Friday because our cook is on vacay. All right, then I am going to do my laundry. Generally, I do laundry on Sunday. So everybody has nice clean clothes for the week. So I'm going to indicate that right here in the bottom. Oop, be nice, be nice now. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and write my plans down for the week. Okay, so those are my basic plans for the week and I did leave lots of space in here because I do work in childcare and my day can change really quickly <laughs> from day to day. So um, I love how everything looks. I like the pops of pink and I love all the clovers and the St. Patrick's Day theme. So let's pop it back in the planner. So these are my plans for the week of March 11th through the 17th. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to the Peace of the Plans fam, I hope you'll take a moment and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post videos right here for you. Thank you so much for joining me, Planner Babes. I hope you have a great week full of love, joy, and peace. See you next time.